Preston Physics, Grade 11, Energy Note 7, Efficiency. When talking about efficiency, we're going to look at kind of general examples. The first thing we'll look at is a light bulb. Now, surprisingly, light bulbs are only about 5% efficient. We're talking about incandescent light bulbs. That means that 5% of the energy that they have is radiant energy or light. And the other 95% of energy going into a light bulb is actually thermal energy. Now, the symbol for efficiency is the Greek letter eta. And it's just like when we're using theta or something like that for a different symbol. Efficiency is equal to the energy out divided by the energy in times 100%. Now, it's a unitless thing because it's a percentage. Energy in and energy out are always going to be measured in joules. The energy in will always go on the bottom of the equation and will always be the larger number. The other thing with efficiency is as long as both of our energy in and energy out are in the same measurement, they don't necessarily have to be in only joules. Looking at the first example where we're checking the efficiency of a car, our energy out is 6.27 megajoules. Our energy in is 34.83 megajoules. And we want to find the efficiency. So our efficiency is equal to energy out divided by energy in times 100%. And we plug in our numbers and find that the car is actually only 18% efficient from what energy it's getting from the gasoline. After you finish with this example, try the next question. The note does a pretty good job at laying out how to do it, but it is a little bit more difficult. The questions associated with this note are 29 to 31 in your yellow duotang.